It's 107.7 The Bone, Baby Huey, Chasta here for day number three of Bottle Rock and Chasta. We've been looking forward to this interview all day. Oh my God, I've been jamming out with you guys for like ever. And especially on the way up here, it was Cumbria the, all, the whole way. So we have at least four members of the 7,000 members of Cumbria. <laughs> yeah. Welcome guys, how's it going? Feel good. Yeah, how are you feeling being here? Feel great. We're about to play soon. So. I know. You, when does your set start? 5:45. Ah, so you got an hour. Okay. All right. So, what is your like? Get in the mojo thing that you do. I like to light a little incense. Light a little incense. These guys are speaking my language I'm, I'm already. I, 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 you don't. No. Damn it. <laughs> I have my hippie pants on. You were speaking my language. That's what inspired that. <laughs> so, do you guys do like? Do you get zen? Do you have a drink? Do you like? What do you do? I usually just try to chill. Keep it, let it, uh, I usually there just try to let it uh, <laughs> chill, let the energy simmer and percolate a little bit. Okay, yeah. yeah drink water, eat some food. Drink water, very scream responsible. Scream a little bit, yeah. scream out, you know. <laughs> yeah. Jump up and down, Yeah. ready to go. So you guys just played at the uh, Fillmore with the Stone Foxes. Yeah. So we work with Shannon. We uh -huh. singer of the Stone Foxes. Right, right, yeah. So his day job is in radio doing production work for our sister station, KNBR. Oh, wow. So... He says very high things about you guys. Oh, yeah. So how was that show playing with them? It was amazing. Yeah, it was cool. F first of all, Shannon needs to take me to a baseball game, like he said. Oh, <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, you're on blast right now. <laughs> and, and and also, no, those those guys are great and they're, they're high energy group and yeah, oh yeah, it was for really sure. good. You know, yeah. Bill, I thought. Yeah. That's really cool. So for you guys, I mean, it's cool that we're talking to a fellow Bay Area band. Um, just for you, how's the music scene here in the Bay Area over the last few years for you guys? I'm guessing it's on the up, right? A lot of great bands coming around. It's, it seems to be treating us pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a lot of great music getting made um, and uh, some beautiful people doing it. Um, still, you know, I don't know. I've been, I've been back in the Bay for about nine years now, nice. and everything about it has changed a ton yes. in that period yeah. of time. And when I used to, you know, just be a visitor when I was a teenager, even since then, so I don't know what the next thing is. I'm sort of excited about it because it does seem on the up. Well, I was just, back in the day, it seemed like every band, they had to go to L.A. Yeah, to, to, to make, make it. it. Right. But, I mean, just talking to Shannon in our private talks, he's always said, like, no, he wants to be based in the Bay Area, prove that we can make it here. And I think in today's world, it's a lot changed of bands now. can make it wherever they're at then with technology stuff. So for yeah. you guys, if you're good hanging out here long term in the Bay Area. Yeah, I've, I've always said that the Bay Area is a great place if you're self-motivated. Because there's a lot of resources, yeah. a lot of opportunities, and you don't necessarily get stuck in a specific, you know, niche of things, or, or you know, it's not it's not saturated like a, a lot of other, other uh, you know, larger cities. So right. like if you if you can get after it, you know, you, you can do a lot of things on your own. Well, you guys have made stuff happen really quickly. I mean, you haven't been in a band a super long time. I'm sure you've done other projects and all of that, but you guys kind of shot out of a cannon to success like it was just like do you feel like you fell like into a void that needed to like be filled or something or how did that happen for you guys so quickly um, you're just that badass I, obviously I mean I think that we all collectively had been working really hard or I should say individually we've okay. been working really hard and when we came together it sort of was like all the pieces fit together and all of us were like ready to work yeah we also you know got really lucky with a good team yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Team you know a good team shout out to us. Casey over there yeah <laughs> shout out to Casey yeah shout out to Tom we go way everyone. back to Casey yeah, yeah. Um, but uh so that definitely helped too I mean I think that the Bay it's like what Marcus was saying that what's nice about the Bay is people are really open with the types of music they listen yeah. to and yeah. so I think us being able to sort of you can like different types of music and still like our band. Right. And I think we just fit really well into that Bay Area kind of music scene that's going on. When I describe you guys to people who haven't heard of you, I say Funkadelic. Is that like, do you feel like that sure. fits? Sure. We'll take it. I mean, because it's really hard to put you in like a certain genre, I feel like personally, you know? Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah, we like that yes. too. That can't be boxed can't be boxed in. Yeah. in. <laughs> there was a blog that called us uh, Rock and Soul. I think that's the most. Rock, what was it? Rock and Soul. Rock and soul, absolutely. That's great. Yeah. yeah, I was introducing you to a friend, and it was like definitely a funk song that he started with, and then it went into more rock, and he was like, "Whoa!" Like he it, it didn't expect it, which is great. Yeah. yeah, and he's like a badass guitar player. So when he started uh. hearing the ripping guitars, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep talking about Bay Area music and all that stuff. Uh, what venues or places you like to go see music yourselves? 
I love the independent. Yeah, I yeah. I love the yeah. independent. It's, it's great. It's your favorite? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's my favorite, yeah. Well, Baby Huey and I are kind of the king and queen of, like, we push lo- the local scene like nobody's yeah. business. Awesome, yeah. Because, right. you know, it's a rock station. We have family and friends, and everybody we know is, like, in a band working their ass off. And they don't get enough love. I mean, let's yeah. be honest. And the yeah. you know music industry has changed a lot, so we push it, push it hard. So we're at the independent all the time. We were yeah. doing Bomb in the Hill Friday, Friday night. night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trying yeah. our best, yeah. just keep it staying yeah, out there. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a pretty cool venue. Oh yeah, real rocking venue. Yeah. It's it's legendary. Green Day played their win oh, on back MTV. In yeah. <laughs> it was an old MTV special, like live at ten o'clock thing. So for me that always holds a special place in my heart yeah. for them. <laughs> but you know, it's really cool. So I mean what's next for you guys after Bottle Rock? What's next for uh, the rest of 2017? Uh, working on another record. Another record? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll have some some stuff coming out this year. Stay tuned. Yeah. Have you guys played, you again, with the shot out of the cannon thing, you've played so many festivals. you played Lala a few times, I think. Have you played the New Orleans Jazz Festival? Because well, that's my favorite. Like We haven't played the actual festival itself, but we played it 2015. We went down and played Tipitina's and House of Blues. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to I've Galactic. I've been to that House of Blues. That's a, great, yeah. that's a great venue. Yeah, our, uh, our big brothers Galactic had us open up that's for awesome. my Tipitina's. And it's pretty it was, cool. And it was Osborne and, yeah. uh, you know, at House of Blues. It was great. All right. Well, I'll make a pinky promise. If you play the j- uh, jazz festival in New Orleans, I will come see you. Because oh, <laughs> it'll be a good damn excuse to be there, right? Yeah. Road trip. Oh, yeah. I know. I'll be like, my brother's called Brio. We're going to New that's Orleans. Okay. <laughs> Brio. All right. Exactly. Brio. Yeah, exactly. Well, so I just want to ask you guys, so stereotypical question, but what other bands are you looking forward to seeing to today here at Bottle Rock? Uh, live is on right now. I, I, know. Think I, want to go I know. know. We screwed you on that one. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we got Charles know, right? Bradley's on right after us. Cool. The Roots. Roots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You know. Yeah. We come. You know. Come in day of, and obviously we. You know. Got to play our own show or whatever. And it's yeah. It's a disappointment sometimes that we have to miss so much cool yeah. stuff. But uh, you catch what you can and. That's You're cool working now. after Tons all, right? This yeah. Yeah. Working. Yeah. This work. Somebody's got to do it. Can you believe they pay this? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, well, we uh, we like to wrap with our favorite question because we love the variety and diversity of interviews that we do and answers that we get. So my favorite movie is Almost Famous. I don't know if you're familiar. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but the last scene of the movie is the question is asked, what do you love about music? So whoever wants to take that one or all of you, doesn't matter. He's all handing the mic over. <laughs> it's like, take your time. Yeah. Everyone we ask that question to, they always we pause. love that pause because yeah, yeah. they're really thinking about it. Yeah. What, do we love, what do I love about music? Yeah, what do you love about music? Okay, I love about music, what I love about music is, um, for me, uh, growing up and playing and learning my instrument and learning to play with people and then in front of people and then yeah. go on tour. It's this hobby that's turned into a passion that's turned into my life that yeah. is constantly teaching me new things about myself as a person and like stuff that I need to work on in like my human life, not necessarily just like my music life. Right. And I think I'd be a, like, a weirder, worse person if I had yeah. started playing the drums. <laughs> I love that answer. So that is right. <laughs> Maybe not weirder, but worse. Definitely worse. Maybe person. not weirder. Uh, so that's the thing I like about. It. I mean, all the yeah. other stuff too. But as personally, it's kind of like it really like opens me up a lot. So. Yeah. yeah. And real quick, just to bounce off of something else that you guys seem passionate about, I won't get too political, but is are you guys like following that pretty closely and? Do you have any words with what's going on? Can you find the words for what's going on? Nope. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, fully, huh? A lot of foolery. Yeah, it is a lot of foolery. I haven't heard it put that way, and that's that's yeah. a definitely a good way to put it. Childish, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we appreciate I'm with everything you. you guys are doing. Yeah. We respect all that. It's really Absolutely. Good. Yeah. So no, but thank you guys for making the time today. We really appreciate it. And yeah, we'll talk to Shannon, get you guys to a, a Giants game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We go, yeah. we got to, there's my Shannon. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> I'm dipping dive. That's my, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> he's, he's putting Shannon on black. I know, sorry. I always, <laughs> he always does that to me at work, so it's all good. No, but thank you guys. Good luck with everything else, and we look forward to seeing you back in the Bay real soon. We're going to go catch your set right yeah. now. Yes, I know. Right. Thank cool. you. Thank you, guys.